This is the 2017 Math Kangaroo Level is 9-10, problem number 29. A and B are on the circle with center M. PB is tangent to the circle at B. The distances PA and MB are integers. PB is equal to PA plus 6. How many possible values are there for MB? A is 0, B2, C4, D6, or E8. This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test. So if you want to try to figure it out on your own first, then you can pause the video now and then press play when you're ready for us to go through the solution together. So, to start, we know that we're trying to find the number of possible values for MB, which we can see, sorry, let me draw a little nicer, is equal to the radius of the circle centered at M. We also know that PB is tangent to the circle at B. So there's a right angle located right here. Because we have a right triangle, we can use Pythagorean theorem and write that the leg PB squared plus a leg MB squared is equal to the length of the hypotenuse PM squared. However, again, we're trying to figure out the number of possible values for MB. So we want to rewrite as many things in terms of MB as we can. So we have PM, which can be written as the sum of PA plus AM. However, as you can see in the drawing, AM is equal to the radius of the circle centered at M, which means that AM is the same length as MB. They're both the same radius. So we can rewrite PM as being equal to PA plus MB. Now we also know that PB is equal to PA plus 6. So it would be good if we also rewrote PB as being equal to PA plus 6 because then we would have PAs on both sides of the equation and they would later cancel out. So again, we rewrote PB as PA plus 6 quantity squared over here plus B, sorry, plus MB squared is equal to the quantity of PA plus MB squared, which again is equal to PM squared as written here. So now we can write everything out and we see that we have PA squared on both sides, so we can cancel that out. And we also have MB squared on both sides. So we end up with 12PA plus 36 is equal to 2PA times MB. Divide by 2 on both sides to get 6PA plus 18 is equal to PA times MB. Now we can divide by PA on both sides because, again, we want to find the number of possible values for MB. So it would be helpful if we isolated it. And we get that MB is equal to 6 plus 18 over PA. Now, we know from the problem that the distances P, A, and M, B are integers. So if M, B is equal to 6, which is an integer, plus this number, and we know that M, B is an integer, then 18 over P, A must also be an integer. So let's figure out what that leaves us for P, A. So that means that P, A must be a factor of 18, so that 18 over it, as an integer. So we can have PE, PA sorry, be 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, or 18. And that means that we have six values for PA. So if we have six different values for PA, then that means that we should have six possible values for MB. We don't need to solve for each possible value because it doesn't ask us about what they are, we just need to know the number of them. So we have 6, which is answer choice D, 
Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you would like to see more videos.